Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed Origins video. This video is going to be giving you some tips and guides on how to do some crafting, making money, and upgrading your equipment. Just a basic outline for those of you who don't know or haven't played the game yet on how to do this. Now, we'll go through these three main things. When it comes to making money, the biggest thing to do is spend time doing side quests and finding every bit of loot you can possibly find. In doing this, when you kill enemies, you're picking up weapons, you're picking up equipment, while also when you pick up loot, you're picking up money, crafting materials, trinkets, things like that, and then pretty much the best way to use them is to sell them at vendors. There's plenty of items that are literally unusable. The only reason you have them is to sell them. So those are the trinkets. When it comes to crafting materials, keep those. Don't sell those unless you really are desperate, but I wouldn't recommend it whatsoever. So when it comes to just doing side activities, making sure you use Animus Pulse to make sure you can pick all those loot areas when you're in a spot there and make sure you can pick everything up you can find. It takes a bit of extra time when you're doing everything, but I got in the habit of pretty early on of playing it, that no matter where I am, I always use that Animus Pulse, pick up every bit of equipment I can, and loot every guard that I kill, just to make sure I get all the equipment I can get to sell later on. It really helps you out, because money can come few and far between, at least early on in the game. Now, when it comes to upgrading your equipment, you want money for that. You want crafting materials, things of that nature. So the big thing with upgrading is you can just go to a blacksmith when it comes to your weaponry. Uh, so there's a whole upgrade tab. Now this is something that's pretty cool and I really like about the game because what if you have a shield or a sword or a bow and arrow that you really like early on in the game but it's not a high level, then you're going to have to get rid of it later. You can actually keep any sort of weapon that you like throughout the whole game and continually upgrade it to your level. It costs a lot of money depending on whether it's like a rare or a legendary weapon. So the rarer it is the more expensive it is to upgrade it. So there can be some sort of legendary item that you're like, yeah, I really want this maybe at end game. So you don't want to keep like upgrading it every single couple levels because that's just going to cost you too much money. It would just help to save that weapon or armor piece until you get very high level and then you have the money to do it rather than continually spending a couple of thousand gold every two levels on this one weapon you're just trying to keep up to date with you. It's okay to try new weapons, it's okay to try new things, and then later on, when you've got plenty of money, and you're really high level, to just do one big upgrade all at once, because the price kind of stays about the same, no matter how big the level gap is, it's still going to cost you that amount of money, at least from what I've been able to tell, in a small gap in levels. So that's a really cool thing to do, so I recommend doing that, the further you go on. I've been doing it a lot, but learning again to not try to do it every couple levels because it's just a waste of money. So try to find even better weapons and equipment the further you go and you might find that you want to actually keep those things instead. So that's why it's good to just make sure you're trying new things and holding off on selling particular, you know, weapons that you're quite fond of. And when it comes to crafting, so you've got the six major things that you craft, which is your quiver, so that's for obviously keeping your arrows in and upgrading your uh, amount of ammo you can carry at once. Your hidden blade damage. You have a bracer on your left and your right arm. So your left bracer, that is for melee damage and the right bracer is for ranged damage. Then you've got your chest piece which is for your health. And then you've got your tool set which just upgrades the amount of tools you can carry. For example, sleep darts. So it'll give you icons when you hover over each of those things of which kind of item you need to use to craft it. So when it comes to any sort of leather, you need to just pretty much use Sinu, fly above and you can actually spot because it gives you those icons of which you need to find certain materials. You can find like certain leather when it comes to, you know, certain predators, hyenas, crocodiles, hippos. So you want to be hunting and killing animals so you can get those crafting materials. When it comes to certain things like the hidden blade, that needs like iron and things like that. So you can either get those sorts of things from dismantling weapons uh, and rather than selling them because that gives you crafting material or you can find certain guards are doing like 
cargo shipments and when you take out the cargo shipment you're able to get a, you know a whole bunch of those crafting items at once or you just find those along the way as you're looting materials that's kind of how you find any of these crafting materials and of course when you get one of the perks on your skill tree you can actually uh, buy crafting materials at store vendors so that's a really important one I got that pretty early on because there's some things you might only need one or two like hard leather and you're like shit I'm so close I don't really want to have to go all the way out find another crocodile to get it I'll just buy two of them here we go Bob's your uncle I've got an upgrade to my chest piece or something like that so that's the main way to do your crafting and kind of that overview for making money upgrading your equipment crafting and trying to get yourself to that high level so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys very soon for more Assassin's Creed Origins videos.